using sensory and emotional details. In order to make a narrative paragraph interesting, writers include sensory details and emotional details that help the reader share the experience of the story. Sensory details give information about how something looks, smells, tastes, feels, or what it sounds like. Emotional details help the reader understand the writer's feelings. For example, under sensory details, my teeth were chattering and my legs felt like jelly. The morning sun warmed my back. Under emotional details, the example would be, suddenly my fear vanished, and I felt confident as I looked out at the crowd. The sight filled me with excitement. Language focus, showing order of events in narrative paragraphs. Writers use sequence words and expressions to clarify the order of events in a story. The following sequence words are used when events happen in time order. Next, finally, after that, eventually, afterwards, a little while, later, then, soon, and later. We unpack the car and set up our tent. After that, we build a fire and cooked our food. Another example. Our entire family squeezed into the car, and soon we were on our way. Showing simultaneous events. Writers use the following words or expressions to show that two events occurred at the same time. Meanwhile, while, at the same time, and that. Here are the two examples. I made coffee. Meanwhile, my brother tried to distract our mother. I was planning a surprise party at the same time that I was getting ready to move. Writing a first draft. Review your outline, then write your first draft of a narrative essay about a challenge you face. Let's take a look at the editor's checklist. Put a check as appropriate. Write answers in complete sentences in the lines provided. 1. Does the paragraph have a topic sentence that tells what the story will be about? 2. Do the supporting sentences tell the details of the story? 3. Does the writer use sensory and emotional details? If so, what sensory and emotional details are included? 4. Does the writer use sequence words and transition words to explain the order of events in the story? If so, which ones? And 5. Does the paragraph have a concluding sentence that wraps up the story? Does it include a comment about the experience? If so, what is the comment?